going to lose some of these <coughs> early structural marks just to tidy that up. <coughs> around the building. I'm gonna just get some more of this structure in near this boat. So underneath the staircase here, there's a good bit of tone, little triangle. There's actually some beams going through the back just tied together that. Just put these nice bits of dark in, which will help the staircase show up. Just fill this area in. All the way down. Put a little bit of tone through that staircase. Underneath the pillar, we've got um, some beams that go back in this direction that are quite dark. Put some of that in first. And then under that, there's some more um, poles that kind of probably come from the building behind. Let's put another one in there, or part of one there, and then we can just fill in this space and this space. And then this will be partially toned, so lighter. Coming all the way down to the boat level. So the boat is there. Fill that in as well. And make this a bit darker so it doesn't jump out quite so much because it's all underneath in shadow so it all needs to be relatively dark so have that pole behind the main pole that's in front and then coming across to this area I'm going to fill it all in dark. <clears throat> there are a few variations in there, but I think I'm going to just keep it simple. Make it all dark. And then I might just use the putty rubber just to lift out some shapes. Now I'm getting right down almost to the water level. <clears throat> so I'm just going to use my putty rubber and just lightly pick out part of a upright that will be in there a bit lighter. You can just shade that in. Keep it very light. And there's also another bit of pole going through there. Again, we can keep that nice and light. <clears throat> and then into this middle section under the window, it's very dark. So this comes up at an angle. So 
towards the window. And then we can bring that down straight. All the way down to the boat. There are some boats in the distance there, but I think I'll leave those out. <clears throat> Just going to keep that nice and straight there. Let's put a bit of a watermark at the bottom of this pole and that pole. And as we come under this piece, we've actually got some netting coming down here, which comes down to the water edge. So we can just fill that in, just cross hatch that. And then inside it's very, very dark again. So I'll just fill that shape in. And this pole's a little bit darker than the one behind it. <clears throat> Under the stairs is pretty dark, so let's get that in. Comes all the way down to the netting area. And then this pole can come a bit darker. And then we're into the building that's next to this building. And this line now is going uphill slightly because the surface is going a different direction. Only very, very marginally. And then we come up the face to just above the awning on this one and then we're coming down to the right a bit steeper than the bottom <clears throat> and then on this building we've got an apex which is comes down come out and then we're into the apex about here And the apex comes to about there. Then the other side comes down, turns over. And then we've got a line coming back down here. comes up and down and then the top of this roof is pretty pretty steep so it's coming down at quite a sharp angle over a short distance and then we've got the same line coming off of that edge and then this edge again will be going down less steep than this one so that will come down like so and then there's a piece that comes down and back and then we're into the side of the building again which comes down and then carves in and then comes back down again and then we're into the bottom <clears throat> the 
bottom edge and then there's a window about there and another window here couple of windows and then there's some poles coming down towards our boat but now the line goes through here of the water so we just need to be careful that the bottoms of the boats uh, sorry the bottom of the houses that they um, they follow that line although there's lots of like bits of scaffolding and poles and bric-a-brac at the bottom here and then there's poles coming down and down there at the base of this building and then we're into another staircase so I've actually gone a little bit too far here but never mind so there's actually a staircase that comes off of off of that there and then it comes down this way Mine's going to end up behind the figure when really it should actually be a lot more over here, but it's fine. We'll just get a bit of overlap. So then this line will go down. And it looks like there's another bit of stairway or something that goes down that way. Over that side. And then there's another building coming off of this one with a roof going up and it comes just off of off of there comes down at the same angle and that comes down again comes back on itself very similar doorway thing going on and that comes down wraps around and then we've got this staircase that bumps up against it and some sort of plant there <coughs> so this is a stairway coming across down to the water's edge just want to get some of these cross beams in a couple of them here and there's a few more uprights in here one more there rub out some of these marks that we don't need as we're going along I think I need to bring the bottom of my boat down a little bit just flatten him out just a tiny bit just feeling a little bit too too high up <coughs> line can come just down a tiny bit as well so 
So off of this we've got some poles coming down vertically. Two or three of those coming down to the water. And then I don't know what that is, it looks like some sort of reed or plant. And then out of this building, we've got another roof that comes up, slightly uphill. And that forms a edge here. Quite steep. And then the far side of that will be coming down down like so and then there's another one next to it so following the same angle and again that will go back down the hill and then there's one more about there and each of those have got an awning sticking out and then there's another bit of roof coming down in there with the corresponding beams coming back to support the awnings and then there's lots of like boxes and gonna make this a bit more abstract I think through here you can't really see exactly what's going on there's some stairs there some poles some more poles or boxes some structure over there it just goes away into the distance <clears throat> some more sort of balcony shapes just bits and pieces and then we're going to make this quite dark so I'm just going to lose all of that shade that in and then underneath each of these is dark so those shapes are pretty strong And underneath all of these awnings is dark. Get those triangular, triangular shapes in. Just leave a gap for where the awnings are. Kind of comes through, makes a long, thin triangle, the shadow. <clears throat> Let's make those stand out a bit stronger. This is a bit darker. Can shade in all of this because this is dark. Along with this side. And then we've got a shadow coming up and under here. So all of that can go in. Make 
it's a bit steeper. Just there. And then under here, under the stairway, I can come a lot darker here, which will help the stairs show up. And the railing. So just fill that area in. And then we've got a big shape in here to fill in. <clears throat> All the way through. So the whole underside can come darker. So under here, all the way down to the water, or to the bits and pieces that are a bit jaggedy. Fill in these triangles. which form the underside of this hut. Some more triangles here. And again here some more shapes. And we can bring that down a bit lower. some darkness just in the back of the staircase here it's a bit darker there as well just leaving the rungs showing Knock that down. A bit lighter. Got some more windows or whatever they are on there. <clears throat> bit of tone through the side of this building. <clears throat> I think it's like a curtain or something there. Some sort of grey covering. lines through there for the door, uh, for the wall. <clears throat> a bit of reflection on the boat which we can get in. Some of those shapes which we'll be painting. <clears throat> Nice flowing shapes. <clears throat> Coming down through there. This boat can have some tone on it at the water's edge. And then we're very dark into this section. And 
fact, all the way through it's dark. It's just a couple of little holes poking through. Let me get to the next pole. Lots of nice darks in there to paint. Let me get to do that. Okay, and then there's more bits and pieces going on over there. Got lots of nice reflections of all these poles. Just have an indication of those. Some indication of where these poles come down. Okay, and then we're going to have some some wires and cables connecting some of this stuff to various things, just to break up the sky. Bit more line there, just for the tin. few lines to show the edge of the cloth that's hanging there. A few more darker patches here and there. Make that a bit darker. to a graphite stick just to get a few more darker marks. It's very very dark under here. Just want to get a bit more tone in there. A bit darker in there. A bit more tone in here. Again, a few suggestions of very, very dark pieces. Just in the distance. A few through here. Could even have a few slightly darker marks up in this area. Give it a bit more depth. just down here in the staircase just to break all this up okay and I think with that the drawing is finished <laughs>